Hey everyone, and greetings once again from Radio Wasteland Records. It's time for our weekly check into some of the new releases headed to an independent record store near you. Just the highlights though, but uh, the full list is out there for your perusal. We'll put a link on that on our website. All you have to do is head to RadioWastelandRecords.com, look for the upcoming vinyl, and click on that. You'll get a beautiful looking PDF that's very utilitarian, but uh, it'll serve its purpose. But you can click through that whole list otherwise. Until then, though, let's take a look at what we can expect for Friday, the 14th of June, 2024. On the new release front, we've got a couple of biggies. This first one is from The Decemberists, and the album is As It Ever Was, comma, So It Will Be Again. You don't have to say comma in there. I just put that in there. Our description, as verbose as usual, it says... For over 20 years, the Decemberists have been one of the most original, daring, and thrilling American rock bands. Founded in the year 2000, the Decemberists' distinctive brand of hyperliterate folk rock set them apart from the start with the release of their debut EP. So now the beloved indie band is back with their first new music in six years. So we've got two different versions of As It Was, So It Will Be Again from the Decemberists. This is a double LP, by the way. The black vinyl version coming in at a suggested list price of $35. And there is an indie exclusive on something that's being called Fruit Punch Colored Vinyl. Fruit Punch Colored Vinyl. A double LP also. That one also listing for about $35. Brand new stuff also expected on the 14th from Lindsay Sterling, the, uh, the very innovative violinist, pop violinist we can call her. This new album is called Duality. Now, there is really nothing in the description, uh, so to speak, uh, which is unusual because our descriptions like to get a little wordy, as you know. But her Facebook page says that, uh, this is Lindsay's words, My new album, Duality, is about the conflicting parts of our lives. An evil twin captures that contrast. Sometimes we feel at war with ourselves as we see the divide between who we are and who we wish we were. These conflicts feel like they could tear you apart, but by facing the darker parts within us, we can truly gain an understanding about ourselves and others. That's pretty heavy stuff coming from Lindsay Sterling. Black vinyl version of Duality, the new stuff from Lindsay, coming in at a suggested list of $25. And there is an indie exclusive version as well. This one on green colored vinyl, that Duality version, listing for about $26. Next up, we've got something from Lizzie McAlpine, and this is an album called Older. The description says that Older is the highly anticipated new album from the acclaimed singer-songwriter Lizzie McAlpine. It continues by saying Older finds the 24-year-old rising star stepping into newfound confidence, discovering her voice and defining her artistry with profound simplicity. So the new album by Lizzie McAlpine called Older. We have a clear vinyl version on tap for pre-order, that one coming in at a suggested list price of $27. New vinyl, but old recordings up next. We have something from Paul McCartney and Wings. This is One Hand Clapping. Now this is a double LP pressing, and the description says that 50 years after their initial recording, the sessions for the Wings One Hand Clapping album are now being released for the very first time. So this set is newly mixed with 12 tracks that did not appear in the original film, including reworked extracts of Beatles classics. So this package includes original artwork plus a TV brochure created for the film. So One Hand Clapping, the sessions from the Wings One Hand Clapping film are coming in at a suggested list price of $38. That is a double LP, by the way. Speaking of outtakes and uh, remixes, here's one called Rock and Roll Star from David Bowie. The description is fairly simplistic. It says it's a vinyl LP pressing. Rock and Roll Star, that's with an exclamation point, by the way, is a compilation of alternate takes and mixes from the recording sessions from the rise and fall of Ziggy Stardust. Black vinyl version of this single LP coming from Rhino. David Bowie's Rock and Roll Star, the alternate takes and mixes from Rise of Ziggy Stardust coming in at a suggested list price of $25. Finally, on the new release front, we've got a new soundtrack. This is Fallout, the original Amazon series soundtrack. Now, I, I've not played the video game, and I've been told that the television version of this doesn't really hold a candle to the video game narrative. I'm not one to judge. I don't play those first-person games, but I thought the TV show was at least fairly cool. So this is the soundtrack, double LP on colored vinyl, blue and yellow. 
Comes with a couple of other inserts and a little booklet by the looks of this, by the way. So Fallout, the original Amazon series soundtrack. I should mention, by the way, that this is not music from the series. Those real cool older tunes that on the video game, the Fallout radio would play, but it was also prevalent in the series. This is not that music. I'm sure they're saving that for another release. This is the soundtrack score from Fallout. So it's a big, big difference. Double LP, as we mentioned on that colored vinyl, coming in at a suggested list price of $30. On to the reissues now for the 14th of June, 2024. We've got a big anniversary one kicking things off. It's Bruce Springsteen and the 40th anniversary edition of Born in the USA. So the description says that this 40th anniversary edition of Bruce Springsteen's history-making Born in the USA album is now being repressed on translucent red vinyl. This anniversary edition also features a gatefold sleeve and an exclusive booklet with archival material from that era, new liner notes, as well as that four-color lithograph we'd mentioned earlier. Originally released in 1984, Born in the USA had an unprecedented seven top 10 singles on its track list and sold 17 million copies to date. So this 40th anniversary edition red vinyl from Bruce Springsteen coming in at a suggested list price of $36. Here's one you see in the bargain bins used and now they're compiled together. It's the Best of the Doobie Brothers, volume one and two. So these are those two albums kind of put together. Double LP pressing, the description says, as durable as American steel, Northern California's four-time Grammy-winning Doobie Brothers sound have become part of America's musical firmament. So we have got, again, the two very well-known Best of the Doobies, volume one and two, pretty much every Doobie Brothers song you would ever need, compiled together on this reissue, coming in at a suggested list price of $40. Or you could just find the used ones for five bucks a piece at Radio Wasteland. <laughs> Up next is a reissue of a rare EP from UFO. It's called Ain't Misbehavin'. So the description says that this deluxe bonus track edition is the reissue of a rare 1988 EP featuring the Japanese born guitarist Atomic Tommy M. I think I said that correctly. Recorded shortly after the band's explosive 1987 tour in support of the 1985 album, Misdemeanor, which was the first collaboration between UFO frontman Phil Moog and Tommy with the exclamation point. Tracks include a vintage live performance and other rarities that fans and collectors will treasure. So this reissue of Ain't Misbehavin' from UFO from Cleopatra Records coming in at a suggested list price of $28. I probably should mention that looks like that's coming on red vinyl, by the way. Also on colored vinyl, silver to be exact, this is Second Sighting from Fraley's Comet. Limited edition silver and bluish colored vinyl. Okay, well, let's get a little more descriptive there. Housed in a gatefold jacket includes a bonus track. Second Sighting is the third solo album by Ace Freely and the second and final to use the Freely's Comet moniker. So Second Sighting on silver and blue vinyl from Fraley's Comet, that reissue coming in at a suggested list price of $39. Speaking of cool reissues, we've got one here from Metallica. This is Death Magnetic, coming on magnetic silver colored vinyl. This is a double LP reissue of Metallica's 2008 album, often regarded as a comeback after the divisive Saint Anger five years prior. The album explores themes of death, mortality, and rebirth, with many of the songs delving into personal and existential questions. Pretty deep for Metallica. Double LP on that magnetic silver colored vinyl, Death Magnetic, coming in, holy cow, I should have looked at this first, coming in at a suggested list price of $76. It is a Mercury import label, so that could explain some of that, but that is a little steep, but if you're a Metallica fan, this could be a cool get. A little closer to home, let's head over to a reissue from a Michigan band. This is Taproot and their album Gift. This is coming from Music on Vinyl, a clear vinyl reissue, by the way, of that one. Limited edition of 666, and those are individually numbered copies, on crystal clear 180 gram vinyl. Gift is the third studio album and the major label debut for the Michigan alternative metal band Taproot, originally released in 2000. So again, this is a music on vinyl reissue. You know it'll sound good. This one from Taproot coming in at a suggested list price of $39. Hey, sticking with Michigan, let's go over to Iggy here. Here's Scene of the Crime from Iggy and the Stooges, coming from Cleopatra Records. This one is on red vinyl. The description says it is a digitally remastered collection of rare studio recordings from punk icons Iggy Pop and the Stooges, 
recorded in the same year that the band released their seminal album Raw Power. This one again coming on red vinyl, Scene of the Crime from Iggy and the Stooges, listing for about $23. It seems like an odd anniversary to celebrate, but this is Primus we're talking about. Here we have a seventh anniversary edition of the Desaturating Seven. Okay, well, I get it. Seven is the in the title, so seventh anniversary. Why not? Why not, why not Les? Let's go for it. Uh, if you're unfamiliar with this, this is a very interesting concept album. Interesting in air quotes, by the way, from Primus. It's about a group of, uh, well, gnomes or something like that that steal the color from the world, something along those lines. The Desaturating Seven, the seventh anniversary edition from Primus. This is on colored splattered vinyl. The original, by the way, came on this kind of clear splatter vinyl. Very cool looking and a very interesting album. But this reissue coming in at a suggested list of $26. Next up, a deluxe edition double LP reissue from Seal. This is the album Seal. Coming from Rhino Records, this is the second eponymous studio album from British singer Seal. Say that five times fast. Originally released in 1994. It includes the worldwide smash hit Kiss from a Rose. That's his biggie. Double LP, reissue from Rhino, from Seal. This one coming in at a suggested list of $35. Next up is a pair of soundtracks from the Twilight series. Uh, we're getting an indie exclusive version of the Twilight, the original movie soundtrack. Not much info on that, so if you're familiar with the movie, feel free to uh, kick in some thoughts on this one. This one is coming on something called Mercury Vinyl. But I'll be darned if it doesn't tell me what that is. So it's anyone's guess. So the original Twilight movie soundtrack coming in at a suggested list price of 25 on that Mercury vinyl. And then we also have Twilight, the uh, Twilight Saga New Moon, the original. I, forgive me, I'm not really up on the movies, so I don't know if this is second or this is the second one. I think this is the second one. The Twilight Saga New Moon soundtrack, a double LP. This one a little heftier coming in at $35. Also, I believe it's an indie exclusive on metallic marble vinyl. So whatever that is, going to be silver-ish, and maybe Mercury is close to a goldish color. We'll just have to see. So either of those, Twilight Saga New Moon, $35, and the Twilight soundtrack, $25. Could be cool for fans of that franchise. And one other soundtrack to tell you about. This one is a reissue, but uh, it's been out on vinyl before, but still cool to see. This is an anniversary edition of the Napoleon Dynamite soundtrack. The description is fairly sparse, but uh, double LP colored vinyl. The unforgettable soundtrack for Napoleon Dynamite returns to vinyl with this limited edition set. Looks like it includes a book, some cool liner notes, and what appears to be some sort of a Napoleon Dynamite dance instruction sheet. So for those of you, gosh, this could be a fun one to get. Did I do that right? Gosh. <laughs> $30, the suggested list price for that double LP Napoleon Dynamite original soundtrack. And then finally, here is a uh, the newest in the series of lullaby renditions of blank, blank, blank. This one is lullaby renditions of Johnny Cash. If you're unfamiliar with what this series is, it is just what it says. It takes uh, great songs by great artists and then turns them into lullaby music for little kids. So the description says, for the first time on vinyl, Rockabye Baby presents fan favorite lullaby renditions of Johnny Cash, pressed on black and uh, black vinyl with gold swirl, it says. It also features a full color sleeve with children's activities included in on that. Lullaby renditions of Johnny Cash, this one on black vinyl and that black uh, gold swirl, sorry, coming in at a suggested list price of $29. That is a quick check of some of the new releases headed our way for Friday, the 14th of June, 2024. If you're local and you see something you'd like us to pre-order, just contact us here at the store and we'll take care of that for you. Otherwise, head over to our website at RadioWastelandRecords.com. From there, just look for the upcoming releases. Click on that link and you can see the full list of everything coming out for the 14th of June. And if you see something on that bigger list, well, contact us all the same and we can take care of that for you. In the meantime, make sure you uh, click the comment, click the like, do all that stuff that YouTube likes you to do, but make sure you subscribe to the Radio Wasteland channel, please. That really does help us out quite a lot. So until next time, this is Jim from Radio Wasteland Records. Thanks a lot for hanging with us.